qualified showers, rebound. Do you feel more yeah. confident in all aspects of the game, knowing that this role is your state? Yeah, definitely. Just go out there and play my game. Um, and all that. If I make a mistake, just play through it and just keep going. What's on the camera? Coach Beal, that's good. It's good. Glad to have him back. Um, we definitely missed him. I'm glad he's, he's okay. Um, but it was a good experience for Coach Sadi to just take over the helms for a little bit. But we're all definitely glad that Coach Beal is back. When did he come back? I guess when did he start working with you guys again? Was it a couple weeks ago or last week? Uh, when we came back to campus. Uh, from Spain? From Spain, yeah. How, how did Sadi do Coach Beal? He did well. He did, I think, pretty sure everyone liked him. A um, little unique situation we were in. Um, but he did a good job. And, uh, he didn't. I mean, you can't, you can't replace Coach B, but he, he did the best he could. I guess what, what was the team's reaction when you guys found out about that surgery? It's a pretty serious procedure. Was there how much concern was there on your part? Uh, I think we're all very down, um, especially once he said he wouldn't be able to go to Spain. I think we're all kind of looking forward to that, just kind of bounding with him too, just outside of basketball there. Um, but we knew that that was best for him, and he had to get healthy for the season. And so that was, that was the right time to get the surgery done, and I knew that he'd recover well. And, um, be ready for practice today, and uh, so I think I think we're all ready to go. How, how did he break the news to the team? Uh, he told us one day after practice, one, after one of the team practices. Is he different at all? I know he said he can't really yell yet as he's rehab, but I mean, his approach, I guess, him in general, is he, is he different? At all? Yeah, no, his approach is still the same. Um, I mean, he's a little more, yeah, as you say, he doesn't quite yell out. His voice is still not as loud as it used to be. Um, uh, more assistant coach at Young, but he's still he's still a leader. John X said that uh, someone asked him to kind of describe how all the assistant coaches were coaching when Coach Beeline's absence. He said that Sadi was kind of the Coach B when Coach B wasn't there. Did you kind of get that feeling over the past five, four or five weeks? Yeah, definitely. He was kind of the one that was always, not necessarily the one that was always talking about the coaches, but kind of like leading us. And um, he, he really took over the homes. I mean, it's, it's hard to replace Coach B. Um, it's obviously not the same, but he, he did the best he could, and um, I think we all really enjoyed playing him. First day of practice, I mean, uh, you guys were just in the national championship game five and a half months ago. Does it feel like the off season kind of went by like that? It really does. Um, I mean, I was here for since all, all spring and summer, me, Austin, and JP, Isaiah, and I mean, we were all here working, and once the summer hit, all the guys came back, and um, yeah, definitely the summer flew by, and now. Classes starting back up and that starting fly by two and now first day of practice already here today. Um, so before you know it, first game will be here. So it really does fly by. And with uh, practice fired up, have, what have you seen out of the freshmen? Is there anyone that's kind of stood out to you specifically? Um, one kid that stood out to me so far has been Iggy, just his uh, his play, how physical, physical he is, um, he, how he can get the hole, how he can shoot the ball. Um, he he can come a little bit more in defense, uh, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll teach him those ways. Um, but definitely offensively, he's, he's bad. And I know that he's uh, sitting out the year because he transferred in late, but what have you seen out of Jaron Fultz so far this summer? Uh, Jaron's a great kid, a uh, great player as well. Um, another big body. Um, uh, he's, he's good around the rim. He has a nice soft touch, and he can shoot it up to about 15 feet. And uh, I'm just glad he's on our team again now. Colin, excuse me, Colin obviously is a little banged up, um, hasn't been able to fully participate, but you know, what do you kind of expect to see him and what kind of role do you kind of see him taking on this year as, as he develops? Um, he can definitely give some playing time. Um, he's, that, he's that good, he's that skilled. Um, defensively, uh, he's got to wall up and keep his man in front, rebound, um, and he'll, he'll know that. Um, but offensively, he's, he's just as skilled. He can pick and pop for three, he can get, he can get to the basket. Um, he has great basketball IQ, and that shows when he's on the court. Where, where is he going? Now, Austin showed in Spain what he's capable of. Is that something that you're, you know, expecting out of him for the season as well? Yeah, definitely. He can. He's, he'll be a big contributor this year. Um, how, how big body he is, and how, how he's able to finish around the rim. He has great hands. Um, he catches everything, um, and he he can get off the floor quick. Uh, he's aggressive around the rim, and. Um, Defensively, too, he's just got to lock up and keep his man in front, but uh, he'll be able to do that.